the great thing about growing up and, and, and being in the theater is that I got exposed to acting, singing, and dancing. And I love all three just like equally. And I'm, I'm so thankful that I get to do them all. I was born in Fort Ord, California, which is an army base. My parents, uh, they were both uh, nurses in the army. I would go to Arizona probably every summer because that's where a lot of my family lived. And I remember one summer when I was in fifth grade, my my grandmother and my aunt, I guess they didn't really want to deal with me and my cousin, so they they threw us in a in a children's theater production uh, of the show called The Herdmans Go to Camp, which uh, I'm sure you've heard of. No. <laughs> it was some made-up show. And I felt so comfortable in a room full of strangers with these bright lights on me. I just I just felt this great connection with the audience and I had a lot of fun. That was where I first got the the bug. I moved to New York City right after high school. I graduated and I got accepted into NYU for musical theater. I loved being there, but NYU was kind of my excuse to, to go to New York. I was one of those people who, I was seeing shows all the time, but but not paying for them. <laughs> I actually would sneak into the second act of different shows, um, like probably four nights a week. Um, sorry. <laughs> but um, I would see these, these people on stage and I, I would just be so amazed by what they were doing and, and them living their dreams. And I felt like I was ready for it. So I started auditioning. I got a part in the chorus in Footloose on Broadway when I was 19 years old. Getting Footloose was amazing. I, I don't remember my first night on stage. When it was all over, I was, I was thinking to myself, what happened? Did, I, did that just happen? So I couldn't tell you what my first night was like. But after that, I fell in love with it. I was doing what I love to do. I'm a creature of the stage. I still love being on stage. But there's that, there, there's that sense of the grass is always greener and wanting to know what else is out there. So that, that got me to audition for television and movies. And I got a lot of small roles here and there. But then Glee came around and completely <laughs> changed my life. Um, more people have seen the very first episode of Glee than all of my theater performances combined, all my 10 year career on Broadway. And experiencing this crazy height of fame, the show had thrust me into a different, um, a different place in people's minds. I've been kind of deemed the spokesperson <laughs> for arts education because of my character on Glee. And I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful that I can be a voice for arts education because I wouldn't be where I am today without it, without the amazing teachers that I had. Teachers are the real celebrities in our society and I feel like they don't get enough credit for what they do day in and day out, shaping young people's minds. And I know I have an idea in my head that I want to start a franchise of, of performing arts high schools all around the nation and hopefully maybe even extending further than that. I can't say enough about arts education and I'm so happy to, to, to be a voice. Mm -hmm.